Welcome to Oklahoma. What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Check out where we're at. Mmm, Academy. Academy in Oklahoma. How about that? Never been here before, we're gonna give it a shot. So they, they are the homies that I met in school. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, they're getting combos right now, right? He's from Hawaii. Bragg, right? Bragg, Bragg, Bragg. Bragg, Bragg, they're from my, our, their, our, us area. Only Hawaii. I'm jealous of him because that's where I used to be stationed. Anyways, so we're doing, we're, we're getting some stuff right now for a, uh, we're gonna do some fishing, but we're gonna do like trout fishing and uh, smallmouth fishing. So we get, we gotta get some stuff, right? So we have a $25 gift card. Ooh. So we're gonna do a little $25 challenge. And this video is actually gonna turn into another, uh, basically this is part one of this video but part one and two are gonna be together this time. So I'm gonna record this this evening, and then when we go fish together, I'm gonna to record that too. It's gonna to be kind of a weird video. Bear with me, like I said before, trust the process. Let's pick some baits out. All right, so we're here. Okay, just identified an issue, and it's a pretty big issue. I don't know how to fish for trout or smallmouth. I'm gonna assume smallmouth like, um, crawfish colored crankbaits that's what my boy alex rudd told me so i'm gonna stick with that got plenty of those so i'm gonna focus more so on the trout uh trying to figure out what i need i don't know maybe a rooster tail i don't know i would tell you guys to comment and let me know but i will be fishing already by the time you see this so that's not gonna work oh this is bad all right we're just gonna start picking stuff let's do it we are legitimately having the most issues trying to pick stuff out. I literally, all I've got right now is a, a suspin blade, like a underspin, and five little cheap rooster tails. This is, this is proven to be tough. This challenge is a little tougher than I thought it was gonna be. One more issue that we just found ourselves in. We're just all kinds of issues tonight. The smallest line I brought with me was 12 pound. Uh, and also, I don't have a spinning reel. I'll, all I have is four bait casters. So I got some P-line right here, some six pound. Very sketchy for me to fish that because I've never fished anything under 10. We're gonna give it a shot though. All right, so apologies if it's windy. Uh, check this out. What is the one thing that I always preach to you guys every time you ask me for a recommendation? Oh, we're, we're off. It's always the American Hero or the Black Max. He got an American Hero and he, and he got a Black Max. So we're gonna try, oh, it's dark. So we're gonna try this out, right? Oh, it's darker. We're gonna try this out. We're going to Dick's right now to see if they got anything more trout specific. And from there, like I said, the video's gonna kind of be weird, like, because we bought our stuff today, but we're gonna fish, what, Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. And Monday, Sunday and Monday. We're gonna fish Sunday and Monday. I have a surprise for you guys that I'm going fishing somewhere Saturday, but I can't tell you yet. I just, I can't tell you. Stay tuned. Oh, there we go. All right, at Dick's now. Probably not gonna record nothing because I'm probably not gonna buy nothing. But one thing that I will mention that I said in Academy, uh, hello, um, going somewhere to fish on Saturday, but you guys may see that video before you see this one. It's gonna be kind of weird, bear with me. You'll know it when you see it, I promise you that. All right, so it's super windy right now. Just left Dick's, bought some power bait, bought some stuff, gonna catch some trout. Next time I see you guys will be Sunday and see you. And we are live. We're here. This place looks so, so good. The water is super clear. <clears throat> A lot more clear than I thought it was gonna be. So we're on the hunt today for largemouth, smallmouth, and rainbow trout. This is like a really long section that we can fish. But um, some dude just left and said, nobody's caught anything today. I mean, I'm gonna have to show them the skill that I have. I'm just kidding, I don't wanna jinx myself. But you could see, you could see like, 
I could probably see like three feet and there's nothing here. So that, to me, that means they're deep. But I'm gonna put this down because I'm excited to take my first cast of fishing in Oklahoma. Let's do it. Oh, well, we're hooked up. What we got? So many species it could be. Is it? I've never seen one in person. Let me get my, uh... yo, that's awesome, dude. So my man Patrick here just caught the first fish of the day, which is a small little rainbow trout. I've never seen one of these fish in person and they are beautiful. Dope. Here he goes. And this is why you don't use six pound test and a rooster tail on a bait caster. He's hooked up again. I don't know what that, oh, it's another one. Dude, they're just getting bigger and bigger. Dang, I'm jealous. I'm dealing with a back glass issue. You wanna use my rod? What's up? You wanna use this rod? No, 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 I'm good, man. You sure? Yeah. Oh, my. You got a problem. Yeah, that's a, that a nice one. Another one, look at that. It's such beautiful fish. That's three in a row that are just getting bigger and bigger. Oh yeah, the pliers. I'm over here dealing with an issue. I should have brought a spinning reel. Might have to go buy one. Obviously, you guys know, I wasn't recording. That's crazy. He just keeps pulling them out and I'm over here dealing with it. <laughs> Before we leave, I'm gonna have to take a few casts with your rod so I can uh, make my attempt at catching my first ever rainbow. Yeah, that one is chunky. Dang. That's awesome. Feels good to fish, huh? <laughs>